Oh, hey, man. I don't think I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna keep him alive, but I just want to look at him a little. Oh, jeez. He's way faster than I thought he would be. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Long Dark. My name is Weasel. We made it to the farmstead, and, uh, yeah, outside we have a storm. I would love to get the carcasses we lost and, uh, we shot in the last episode. But that's gonna prove a little bit tricky, um, if it's still storming. So we're gonna take the opportunity to just, well, search the house and see what we got. Um, this is gonna be our, well, temporary base of operation, at least for a while. Uh, we're gonna look through, uh, this place. We're gonna probably leave some stuff here, uh, if we go somewhere else. But yeah, um, that's, that's the plan for now, to have a little base of operation. We're gonna stay, actually, a while and, um... Pretty much spend a few days here just to, well, make use of the meat we Hope found. nobody needs this anymore. Uh, probably not. It doesn't look like they care too much for coming back looking, uh, well, judging from the state of everything here. Um, other than that, yeah, we're gonna go for the cabinets and then we're gonna go upstairs. Wonder if we're gonna find a second rifle. Chances are there is a rifle in the office. Um, freezer, check that, check that. Um, ooh, bathroom, right. Okay. Something in the medicine shelf. Nope. Something in the drawer. Ooh, rifle rounds. Very good. More hunting. Summit soda. Uh, water. We don't have to get the water off the toilet right now. I think that's gonna be fine. Uh, herbal tea. Very, very great. Um, storm lantern. We're gonna... Ooh, perfect. A can opener. That's better than using a free knife to bring uh, open up your can. Really hurts that. Okay, nothing below there. Mittens! Basic wool hat. I'm gonna keep those. Go to Nola bar, some more cloth. This is all looking great. Book to burn, some soda. Oh, I like all the firewood here, that's fantastic. This is gonna be where we're gonna cook our stuff at the fireplace. Um, rifle cleaning kit, I already have one, I need to pick that up. Oh yeah, here's another hunting rifle. That's great. We don't need one right now, but in case we did, this would be the place to go. Cardboard matches. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, let's go to the creepy upstairs <laughs> part of the house. With the ah the kids' room, which always creeps me out. Oh, a little tractor. Alright, TV. I added some detail to this place, definitely. I can appreciate that. We're really like someone just ransacked the whole place. Yay, socks, man, we're so encumbered, it's unbelievable. 40 kilograms magnifying lens. We got doubles and triples of certain things now, which is great. Thin wool sweater, eh, I'll take it to shred it later, but that's definitely something I don't care for keeping. Nope, thank you, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you should take the water off the toilet as well. Yeah, that's one big bathtub. Snazzy. Oh, it's not even closed off. Ah, huh. I wonder what the reason for that is. Yay, no privacy at all. Ooh, wait, you only missed that. Man, I must be, oh, orange soda. I think I'm not uh, exhausted yet, but I think I'm so encumbered I just can't run. As soon as you have 40 kilograms and more on you, you just can't run anymore. Which is understandable, just having 80 pounds on your back. That's, that's quite the strain. Okay, I think it's a good plan now to drop some things from my inventory onto the floor. I think we're gonna keep this here. This is gonna be my, well, HQ something something. Okay, let's uh, place it here for a while. Let's drop some stuff on the floor that we don't need. Um, let's think about that for a second. Um, okay, these are all the clothing items. I'm not gonna shred them right away because I don't need any more cloth. We're just gonna keep them on the floor. Okay, next on the list we have some tools with us. Because I doubt we're gonna need the hatchet here. I'm actually gonna keep one hatchet with me and I will not take a hunting knife. Pry bar in case I need to pry something open. Not right now though. Same with the hacksaw. These are useful, all useful tools, but I don't think I need them right now. We have another storm lantern that we could um, harvest so we get some fuel back, which I should probably do soonish. Okay, I think a good idea is to actually leave some food on the floor and not bring that with us if we go. And um, yeah, let's do that. Let's leave three liters here. 
I want an MRE just in case. This is like, like, worst case scenario. We're gonna... But other than that, I'm gonna drop pretty much all the food I can, except the ones in bad condition. I'm gonna eat those soon. I'm gonna take the beef jerky with me because it doesn't weigh a whole lot. The same with the crackers. I really like um, the crackers. Ah, you know what? Let's let's drop the crackers. It's fine. Okay, we just got the absolute basics in terms of food with us. Uh, we have all the clothes we need. Uh, do we need more of this stuff? Basically, no. Um, I want to put this on another pile. Water purification tablets. Pretty much don't need them right now. Okay, I do not want to leave my bedroll behind. I kind of want to bring it with me in case we have to stay outside. It's it's not what I'm planning to do, but you never know what's going to happen. Uh, don't need a second magnifying glass. You know, matter of case, I'm, eh, I'm going to bring it with me. But yeah, that looks like a good, good, good set. Um, now that I think about it, I actually want to bring the hunting knife. Because that would make... Um, getting the meat out of the deer and the wolf easier. Pretty much going to go for that now. After I get some sleep. Alright, let's have some rest. I say two hours. Right, let's, let's rest an hour and let's see how it sounds in an hour. Because we still got some daylight left. Still sounds pretty windy, but I would be willing to go out right now. Let's see. Uh, it's windy, but we can still see. Uh, feels like minus seven. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna freeze. Oh, geez, and there's a giant bear. Okay, that's. I think I think that's enough signs for me to not consider doing this. Hey, man. How would you feel if I shot you in the head? Could you walk over here? Probably not. I mean, that's a perfect place to stay. Uh... Oh, hey, man. I don't think I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to keep him alive, but I just want to look at him a little. Oh, jeez. He's way faster than I thought he would be. Wow. Okay. We're in. We're going to stay in. I'm going to stay for a few hours. How about that? Mm, still sounds like a storm outside. Doesn't it? The bear should at least be gone. Oh yeah, that's that is no weather to go outside. Way too dark. Oh, look at the nice green sky. Quite pretty. I mean, it's so close to the house. I could just run over there, get some of the meat, come back. It should really not take very long. Ah, frick, there's a wolf, isn't there? That's a wolf. You're a wolf, aren't you? Let's screw this, we can do this. No problem. And a bear, of course, there's a bear in the distance. Isn't there always a bear? Shouldn't I have already found... Wait. Oh, jeez, I think I walked in... Did I walk into the wrong direction? No, I didn't. Did I? And that's why you don't go out during a snowstorm when it's dark. You gonna get lost. So hard. Oh, look at that. There's another radio tower up there. Wait, is that... Wait, is that where I came from? Feels think... like night is coming. No, no shit, Sherlock. No shit. Night is coming hard, I know. I kind of, I, I can tell by the pixels. I think I might have gone into the wrong direction. Yeah, a basic sense of orientation would be a super helpful thing to have. All right, we're gonna spend the night in. It was a nice try, but it's not gonna happen. That's one of the things that usually kills me in this game is my impatience. All right, we're gonna sleep 10 hours. That would be so great if I could just say how many hours I'm gonna sleep and then it works. <laughs> I'm not gonna wake up. Okay, I'm dehydrated. I actually took a little bit of hit to my condition. That's okay. Shit happens. Okay, I'm pretty, pretty hungry. Really? Still a storm. Are we, are we still gonna do that? Sure. Okay, you're gonna sleep a few more hours. Means we have plenty of daylight. Let's, let's hope we can still find the carcasses. At least it's bright out so I can see something. Okay. First, let me orient myself. Okay, yes, this is the little hill. This is the little hill we have to go over to get to the corpses. 
carcasses. Good thing about not being encumbered and some good sleep is that we can run and we're actually gonna recover our stamina quite fast. Okay, so where was it? I mean, looking at judging the snow and the storm, the corpse could already be buried. That's something I would like to see if it if it's, uh, stays out for a day or two. Yeah, okay, everything is still here, good. Then it gets buried. Um, Might not go for the wolf back there, might just do it here. Three kilograms of meat, yay, 30 minutes. Give me the hide, eh, give me the guts. You know, just give me the meat for now. And we're gonna see how we feel after that, because we might actually freeze. Yeah, we're, we're freezing. It's super cold. I'm already numb. Um, I don't have enough to make a fire. Oh, that's eight kilograms of meat, that's... Okay, we have to come back for that. Let's face the facts, we have to come back for that. We should consider making a little fire to harvest all the meat. We're just gonna bring some firewood, make a little fire. It's so close, we could harvest, run back, harvest, run back. That's probably faster in the long run. Okay, we're gonna leave all raw meat out here. Very well. And we're gonna get a little bit of sleep. I think an hour should be enough to warm us up. Wait, did I see some jerky down there? I saw some jerky down there. No, it's a toque, I think, yes. No, it's a scarf. Close enough. Sleeping anywhere, even in a bed, gives you a warmth bonus. Okay, warmth isn't f up all the way, but that's okay. Um, you know what, I'm considering to just make a little fire outside. Okay, I wanna get all the meat. Uh, I don't like this weather one bit. It's not storming, at least. Feels like minus eight, great. Okay, at least we can follow our footsteps, so we're gonna find our way instantly back. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, I got you covered. You so hungry. Don't worry, we're working on it. Wait, where is the, where are the corpses? There, okay, that's a lot of meat to harvest. How long is this gonna take us? One hour and 20 minutes, hmm. Okay, let's start a fire. Okay, we're gonna use the book, a tinder plug, and let's use the fire striker, which gives us a 100% chance of success. Books are great kindling material. But I would not recommend them unless you have to, because they're full of ink, which is not good as well. At least, I think you shouldn't use it. Then again, I'm not a professional. Okay, okay, that's gonna hit me for an hour. Which works for me, I think. Should keep us warm enough, 402 calories harvested. Uh, I should probably eat something real quick. Um, eat some beef jerky real quick. Okay, we should have enough calories to not lose condition. Let's get all the meat, yum. Um, still warm, still gives off a good chunk of warmth. Which means I could get the guts, the height, not too much, don't care for that. I mean, or 25 minutes, ah, let's do it, let's do it. We're probably gonna freeze a little bit, we're gonna take some hit to our condition. I actually- Getting weak. Yeah, we're cold, but it's not too bad yet. I know, you're getting weak. You know what, let's risk it. Let's get it, one hour, 25 minutes. Condition goes down, I'm, I'm willing to risk that, that's okay. It's all good, all good. We got a wolf pelt, we got a deer hide. Ah, oh, very well. Ooh, pretty. It's totally cool with me. All right, with all of that meat, which we're gonna prepare now, we're gonna be able to survive a few days. And having a wolf pelt is a good thing too. I think we, do we need one or two wolf pelts to craft something? Um, do we have some crafting recipes? Nah, it doesn't look like it. There is another wolf back there, which I could get. And his meat. How much? Three hours of daylight left. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's not risk it. At least not today. We can do that tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day. Well, it is time to make some fire. We have one fur firewood. We can probably break down this table. Takes an hour, 30 minutes. Oh, I should have left. Oh, I left my lamp on. 
Silly weasel. Oh man, the meat is already at 56%. Yeah, we'll definitely have to prepare that now. One thing I should definitely prepare or drop are my fresh guts. And the deer hide. Uh, do I have to do the same with the wolf? Yeah, the wolf pelt as well. Needs air dry for seven days. Then we can use it for uh, whatever we want. Same. This needs to dry for five days. Alright, good, good, good. Mm, I bet that doesn't smell bad at all. Hey, give me the reclaimed wood. We're gonna make some... Even if we have too much, we're gonna make some... Fire. Or we're gonna make some water. Okay, I Okay, we can turn off the lantern, we don't need that anymore. <sighs> yeah, nah, I'm not gonna use accelerant, not worth it. Chance is not very high, 69%. We can do better, but... The more fires you make, the more your base skill rises. Eventually, you're gonna be able to have a 100% chance to make a fire with a match and a piece of wood, which is pretty cool. Alright, one hour and 24 minutes, two hours... Alright, let's run with that for now. Yeah, I think we need more. We're gonna need more. We're gonna run out of ah, fuel soon. Cooking a piece of meat takes like, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Oh, I just realized I'm super thirsty and super hungry. So we'll eat something, we'll drink something. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, I'm gonna need some water. Did I drop all my water over here? Yes, water bottle. Yeah, this is not ideal, I gotta say. All a little bit tight. We're cooking through the night. How romantic. Mm, we might not have... Oh, wow, we do not have enough. Hmm. Takes too long to break down. That... Yeah, that's that, that'll do. We need more fuel to burn all the items we have. Okay, I need to chop down that chair. We have so much raw meat. Fantastic. Good thing that I didn't get the other wolf meat. That was that would have been way too much. I mean, as much as I like to have a lot of meat on hand, this is not feasible. It's gonna turn bad before I eat all of it. <laughs> I mean, this is like 20 kilograms of meat. That's that's a lot of meat to chew through. I mean, not in this game. I eat like, a, I want to say horse, but I don't think horses eat meat at all. So I eat like a bear. That works. Okay, I still like to make some water though. Because actually, I have water in the toilets, so we don't need to do that. Um, wonderful, we're fed. Uh, we're doing great. Um, I'm gonna drop most of this. Hmm, cooked venison, very good. And I do think we're gonna get some sleep and head out tomorrow maybe to find more. Okay, so how much? I don't know how many hours of darkness. I'm gonna sleep for six hours. Sounds like a good plan. I'm really tired. Six hours, I think, is all you need to bring your um, tiredness meter down again. Let's see. Six hours, and uh, we're still winded, actually. We would need a little bit more. So I'm gonna make it two more hours. Eh, uh, we're okay. I guess ten hours when you completely winded will do fine. Well, I guess it's time to go through the toilets now and collect all the water we can find. 1.6 liter, that's good. I think we're gonna get like three liters from this house that we can use. And then we should check the basement. Oh, soda, thank you. Uh, where's the other toilet? Down here, there you go. Uh, 1.62 liter, I, I think that's standard amount of water in these? I don't know. Okay, I should drink something, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, so this is far from an ideal weather to go out and uh, get the remaining wolf meat. It's probably bad at this point, even though it is frozen. It's not. It's not going to be in good condition. Uh, I'm going to use that time to check out the basement. Scary, scary basement. Luckily, I have the lantern. Uh, we got a water heater. Oh, reclaimed wood. I'll take that. I need to make some fire soon. Quality tools. Good. Oh, uh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Give me wood matches, gloves, accelerant. Oh, we're finding some things. Beef jerky, yay! What's that? A whetstone to sharpen blades, which we can do. Yeah, we should sharpen our hunting knife. 
Um, do we have that with us? Ah, locker, damn it, I don't have the pry bar with me. Maybe later. No, not too important. Okay, uh, dryer. Thought there's something in there. Never mind, cotton long underwear. I could use this. Wool socks. Something in the washer. No. Antiseptic. Water purification. Wow. There's a little bit of a gold mine here. Okay, scrap metal. I have no interest in you. Well, I got some tables to break down for wood, which I think is a good idea to go for that stuff. All right, let's have a quick look at the workbench and see uh, what we can craft. We already have a fishing tackle. We luckily found one. Um, with the cured gap, we're going to be able to make a lime. Um, okay, deer skin boots. They sound fantastic. Plus four, plus three. Uh, two cured. Okay, need more deer hide for that. Wolf skin coat requires four cured wolf pellets. We're gonna have to kill four wolves for this. It would be so cool though to have it. Um, we might go for the other bear skin bedroll. Wow. Very warm. Might scare animals away. Cured maple sapling. You know what? That is something we could go for. Survival bow. We have a rifle now, so we don't need to do that. I'm gonna say we're gonna get some wolf pelts. I would love to make myself a wolf skin boat. We already have one pelt. Um, I know where the other wolf is. We're gonna go for him. We're gonna get his... Um, we're gonna get his pelt. I want it. I want his pelt. There's nothing that can stop me on my epic quest for a wolf skin coat. You know, except... All the things that try to kill me. But yeah, we got plenty of ammunition. We should be able to kill a few wolves, live from their meat. Uh, and make a coat out of their fur. Oh man, that sounds so mean now that I say it out loud, but eh, we need it. We need it. Um, the things you need to stay alive. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.